Wilmar Villar Mendoza, a 31-year-old Cuban dissident, died of pneumonia after a two-month-long hunger strike protesting his imprisonment in the island. Back in November, Villar was sentenced to four years in prison for disobedience, resistance and crimes against the state. He had joined an opposition group in Santiago de Cuba last summer and was active until the time of his arrest. Villar's death provoked an immediate reaction among the exile community in Miami. La muerte de, de Wilman Villar Mendoza fue un asesinato por parte del régimen de Cuba. Ramon Sanchez, a leader in the exile community in Miami, says that Villar was stripped of his clothes and placed in a damp cell in solitary confinement as a way of torturing him. El régimen de Cuba ha tratado de dar la imagen de que está eh, entrando en un proceso de reformas que comienza con la economía y habían expectativas de que fueran a, más allá de eso al ámbito político. Sin embargo, esto niega una vez más. Eh, toda esa visión que él ha tratado de proyectar. Cuba's president, Raúl Castro, released 130 Cuban dissidents in the summer of 2010 in a deal facilitated by the Catholic Church. Pilar's death comes at a time in which the island prepares to receive the Pope in March. Yo no creo que a la Iglesia Católica le corresponde ni peregrinajes ni turismo en un momento donde la Iglesia Católica Cubana no se ha caracterizado por denunciar este tipo de abuso. Pilar left behind a wife and two children. He is the third dissident to die of a hunger strike in the last three years. Well-known dissident blogger Joanny Sanchez reacted to the news by tweeting, how many more have to die? How many more? Reporting from Miami, Ingrid Rojas, Univision News.